In a time when the Earth was believed to be the center of the universe, one man dared to look up and say, no. His name was Mikoai Copernic, known to the world as Nicholas Copernicus. Born in 1473 in the Kingdom of Poland, Copernicus was not a rebel by nature. He was a scholar, a mathematician, a doctor, and a quiet man of faith. But he had questions that shook the very foundations of belief. For over a thousand years, people accepted that the earth stood still and the heavens revolved around it. To doubt that was to challenge the church itself. But as Copernicus watched the stars, he saw a pattern too elegant, too perfect, to fit that ancient lie. In secret, for decades, he worked on his theory that the Earth was not the center, but the Sun. That the planets, including our own, moved around it in an infinite dance. He knew what that meant. His ideas could be seen as heresy. They could destroy reputations or lives. And so he waited. Only near the end of his life, in 1543, did he allow his book, De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium, on the revolutions of the heavenly spheres, to be published. Legend says that on his deathbed, a copy was placed in his hands. He died as it was released, the moment his truth finally touched the world. What followed would change everything. His vision of a sun-centered universe laid the foundation for Galileo, Kepler, Newton, and every scientist who dared to question the impossible. Mikołaj Kopernik, the quiet revolutionary who moved the Earth, by proving it moved itself. If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe. Your support helps me keep bringing powerful untold histories to life.